What's your name again? Ivana. Ivana? You're not related to Trump, are you? <laughs> Do you like Trump? You can be you can say honestly on this. The edge you can always say exactly what you think. You don't like it. Okay, you're shaking your head now. Why don't you like it? Tell me on. I, I don't care for me either. You just go ahead, wait ahead. What is it you dislike? Is it the immigration issue? Is the immigration thing? Is it the immigration thing that he's done? Locking kids up in cages? That kind of thing. Is that particularly... Is that the main reason? Or is there another, is there another reason? Just that, would you say? Ivana? Come on, be brave. Be brave. I don't want you to speak against somebody just to speak against. I just want to know what you honestly think. What about you? Um, honestly, I like him. You like him. What does he like about him? President. Because he's president? No. Uh, he what? I don't know. Come on, say what you think. That's what the edge is about, saying what you think. And, but you don't your dad believes that the job situation was improved. He voted for he voted for Obama. And when Obama had a second term, they put in the Affordable Care Act, which they call Obamacare. But it's really the Affordable Care Act, not Obamacare. That's the true name of it. So your dad then proceeded to say, well, the company he worked for said, well, because Obamacare is there, we're going to fire you and only let you work so many hours. And we're going to blame it on Obama. And your dad bought that. He believes that. He believed the company that told him a lie. And cut pay for people because they did, and he got cut way back. And they used the lie to make the, him cooperate with them. That's what they did. That's what your dad and I don't agree. So I'm just telling you up front. And, and when I was long ago, there was a president who was president also, and Reagan. He went in front of the people, he cut taxes to the rich. Trump cut taxes to the rich. But he went out on television and said, see all these jobs are available in McDonald's. He's in McDonald's at. So my daughter went to McDonald's to get a job. We'll work you two hours a day. Two hours a day. So you can get two hours times five dollars an hour at that time. You can't, you can't come to But he lied to the people in their face. So all I'm saying is that Things got better for your dad when when Trump got in because he killed the, um, the what you call the special fee you had to pay, and the company said, "Oh, we don't have to pay that fee anymore. Now we'll give you all the extra time you want." But they blamed Obama for why they laid people off. They laid it off because they didn't want to pay the fee for the employee. Now you tell me, what do you think of that? That's my story. You heard your dad's story. Donna, what do you think? We, your dad and I agree and disagree, and we get along. About it. So what do you think about that? You can take, you can, you can disagree with me. You can, you can agree with your dad, and the same with you. But what are your thoughts? I'm not lying when I say they put out a letter saying we're cutting your time. You can make less money. He got a, a letter like that, and he, he, he showed it to me, but he told me about it. I said, they're lying to you, and you bought the lie. And, that's, and, and Trump got the credit for the fact that he didn't have to have, he could have as much time to work for them as, as they would give him, so he could make more money. And that did happen, okay? That's not a, that's not a fake. But the reason is, is where the fakery is. So what I, I, what I personally dislike about Trump is he has no problem with, with lying. None at all. He just lies. Your mom says that too. Yeah, she like, um, he's a good person, but he, like, the way he talks, like, he will say anything out. But what else does your mama say? Because you're listening to your mama. That's good. 
you guys are you you have a mother and she'll tell you what she thinks and then she to protect herself she's saying he's a good president okay he's good for the very rich that's what he's good for and i talked about on past shows he gave a trillion dollars to the rich a trillion it became our debt he gave that as a debt to us to give them a trillion dollars the rich corporation when he first came into the presidency, the first first year, right out of the box. So anyway, that's what he did. But I want to hear you guys. You said your mother said certain things, and you you like Trump because he's the president. Somebody's always going to be the president. You like them because they're the president, or is there another reason? That's the only reason you know. That's all right. You're young. But you guys want to read a lot more. You want to read more. And that is what I do a lot. Okay. So what, what the new president is going to do, he's going to put a thing called the wealth tax on, on the rich. If you make more than $400,000, you're going to pay a tax on every dollar after 400000 in the same year. If you made 400000 this year, you, there, there's going to be a tax on the money you make after 400000 all the way up. It's not, I don't know what the number is going to be, what the tax is going to be, but the rich are going to get taxed with this new president. They're not going to tax the poor. They're not going to tax the middle. They're going to tax the very wealthy. In this country, to give you an idea, this country was built on a wealth tax. In 1935, long ago, this country was in a very bad financial situation. Everybody was out of work. People were being kicked out of their homes. You, you go down a street and everybody, the street was lined with furniture from people being kicked out of their homes and out of their rentals. So what did the president do? He put a, a wealth tax on the very wealthy and he put it at 75%. And when you get to a million dollars, you pay 75 percent on every dollar. Thank you very much. Hey, can I get one more? One more of these? One more of those? Yeah, a separate check. Yes, right. He put a tax on for a million dollars over every, any dollar you made over that million dollars. Now you guys aren't expecting to make a million dollars, are you? But you do want to make money, Zana, right? And if you could make a million dollars, you'd do it, wouldn't you? I know I would. What's this plan your dad has right now to make a lot of money? You've heard him say it. That's what this is about. And if he could make a million dollars so he didn't have to work at Chili, he'd say bye bye Chili. Just like, like that. So, you know, the president gave a, tri a trillion dollars to rich, all the rich people. He gave it to them and took it out of our pocket when he did it. And Chili's got that money among others. So all the big corporations basically stole money from us and made a debt for everybody else. That's what they did, and that's what Trump did. So I don't trust somebody that does that. I just don't. That's, that's why I feel that way. I don't want to deal with the wealth tax in this country. 1935 to 1980. You, have you ever heard of the World War, the World War, World War II? They taxed people 91% for World War II. And that 91% built and finished the war, won the war, and built the I-75 out here. It was built with that. And that tax 91% stayed from 1941 all the way to 1960. Now, now you, you guys were not alive at that time. But in 1960, that's a matter of 20 years. We had 91% tax on the rich. And that tax then stayed all the way to 1980. Again, that's 40 years ago. So you guys are going to learn about this stuff in time. But that wealth tax built the you know, roads, the bridges, the hospitals, everything we need. Paid for everything. And on which you call the lights, it's called the electric grid. For a whole country it was built under that wealth tax.